Hey there, it's Erin with Time Saving Templates and today I'm going to be going over a really basic formula that can be used for a lot of different scenarios and that is the basic IF formula. And if you recall, I have a few other videos we did a couple months back within an IF series for Excel IF formulas and that was using the median IF formula, average IF, max and min if in the second video and the third one was using sum if and count if so i realized i don't have just the very basic basic one which is just if by itself so i have a couple of use cases i'm going to go over using different templates that we have here at time saving templates and maybe this will give you some ideas on how you can utilize the super simple formula. So for this first example, I'm using the total reward statement template. This is something if you work in HR or compensation, you might utilize a total rewards, total rewards statement. It's basically outlining everything the company is paying for in a nice summarized statement. So, but to get to all of this, it involves pasting in employee data from different reports. So what we're going to look at here is just some sample data for employees with actual earnings and then overtime earnings. And I'm going to insert a column because I want to use the if formula to highlight and check for anybody who has over 500 in overtime earnings. So you could type this in or you can come to the function bar and just type it in. It's appearing first because I think I just use it a lot. Okay, so once you have this here, we're just going to do a simple logical test and this is what we're checking for. So we're saying basically if this overtime earning is greater than 500, if the overtime earnings are greater than 500, then actually those are the ones that I want to check. And if they are not greater than 500, then it's okay. So, so be careful how you word your true and false. And also, or I could have flipped this to be if J was less than 500. And then now it's showing okay for this one. And obviously these two, I'm getting a check. So that would be one example. We want to just flag or check. And sure there's other ways with conditional formatting or filtering, but I like to have an extra column where I can just filter it by everyone that says check if you have a lot of data and then you can just filter it together. And then one more thing you could do to help it stand out. Sure, you can also add conditional formatting for that, that text that you have. If you want to do it that way, you could also put it in for an conditional formatting for any number over 500. So you could do that too, but that's the if formula. So that's one way to check it is anything you're looking at in a column. So you could use any type of mathematical if something equals to each other, if it's greater than or less than, and those types of things. Let me get another exam, one more example of the if formula that I would use is going to be with this checking column headers in a report. So this template that I'm using for the second example is the quarterly Airbnb template. And this is where you can download your report from Airbnb, paste it in one of the tabs and then monthly and quarterly summary will automatically update with all your information and so does the annual. But it's really important when you're using any type of template where you're pasting a report into it that the column headers line up exactly. Okay, so I have this sample report that I've downloaded from Airbnb. So what we're wanting to check is that the column headers in this report line up exactly to the column headers in the template. So what I would do is to copy the headers in the template and paste them here into the CSV report and then do another blank row above it. And what I'm going to do is um, another if formula to see 
um, just to check each header to make sure it matches. So just looking at it, you could probably tell where it's not lining up. But just for an example of how to use this formula, we're going to take the date in row 2. If that equals the header in row 3, if that's true, I'm going to put OK. If it's false, then I want check. I want to check it if it doesn't match. And then I'm going to drag it all the way across. And you'll see we start getting the check right here where we have in one file, we have the guest name in one cell. I'm assuming first and last or probably within one cell or one column. And then in another file, we have the first name and last name in two different files. So with the Airbnb template, everything matches. I just wanted to show this for an example. There's a couple things once if you're checking this and you're wanting to line things up, you can either you know, combine these two cells together, just go with the last name or edit either the template or the download so that they're, the columns are lining up. But for this example, I'm just going to take the columns and cells in this report and move them over. So I'm essentially pasting over the first name, which you may or may not want to do that. But after I do that, we still get a check here because this is not an exact match, but I can see for all the other columns, I'm getting an OK. So at least I know that these other columns are matching. And then we get another check here. So maybe that would be a new column we need to get added into the other report. So that's how I would use that, that if formula. And we can also do a little conditional formatting and put in highlight the cells that we want to check to. If you end up having a lot, it makes it easier to review. Again, it's a super simple formula, lots of different ways you could use it. You could even use it to check a currency in one column versus currency in the other. So I hope that helps and I will link to the other videos in the if series which had the median if, the average if, and some if formulas in case you like this, this type of formula. And don't forget we have some free resources to help you out. You can find that at timesavingtemplates.com slash free resources. And we have a free guide to get you started with Excel with some basics. And then we also have some free templates. There's some for small business, rental property, and HR compensation. And I will also link to both of those templates that we use in the example, the total reward statement, and the Airbnb quarterly template in case you're interested and seeing more about that. Until next time, don't forget, I'm here to help you streamline and save time when it comes to using your Excel spreadsheets. Thanks. Bye.